What's going on YouTube? I'm back again with another video. Sorry I haven't made videos of this thing. Well, the hoverboard. I shouldn't call it this thing, but the hoverboard. Um, I've been busy. Um, I'm going to share some information with you guys that you might want to look into. Um, before I start this, before I start talking about the, the parts that you're going to need to get this thing fixed if you run into these problems that I'm finna name. Uh, I'm gonna have some other stuff I need to share with you real quick. As y'all heard, they're trying to ban these things. They're trying to ban them in a couple of states. Well, I live in Los Angeles and they're trying to ban them out here. For what reason? I don't know. They're trying to say they're dangerous. Dangerous. Which... There are, but in, cert in certain circumstances. I mean, if you're riding them in the street or you're running people over, then, yeah, I, I understand that. But to completely ban them, what's the purpose of, like, I don't get it. That's another reason. That's another way of them telling you what to do. So... If you have one of these things and you're riding it, please be very careful. Because the other day, I was um, outside and I couldn't record it because, you know, I didn't have my phone handy right then and there. But this kid was riding his and I don't know what he tried to do, but he was going a little bit too fast. And I don't know, it looked like he tried to turn and he flew off. When I say he flew off, he flew off. And he kind of hurt himself real bad. His arm was like kind of scratched up. And his face was like like somebody just took a hot iron and just rubbed it across his front, his face. And I had to take him to his parents. And which I didn't understand, where was his parents at to let this kid ride that by himself, like without supervision, without a helmet, knee pads. And they wanted to know what happened. I had to explain to him he fell and he told him that too. And they took the hoverboard and the dad broke it in half and said that that's why he didn't want him to buy it. And that was the end of that. And I couldn't say nothing about it. I just left and they told me thank you. And, you know, I said, you're welcome. No problem. Just make sure he's all right. But I seen him. Today, actually, that happened yesterday. I seen him today, and uh, let's say uh, his face. You get, you guys get the picture. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna get off that. Cause, ugh, that was sad. But anyway, okay. Now I know you all heard that they're trying to ban these things in certain countries and states. I guess where I live at, Los Angeles, they're trying to ban it. But as I asked them today, like, why are you guys banning? They said that they're dangerous and they can cause accidents and people don't know how to use them in a safely environment or something like that. They're riding them in the street, which I understand. Like, why would you ride this in the middle of the street, which don't make no sense at all. But people going to do what they want to do with their own thing, right? That's their life, not ours. But anyway, um... You guys should look into that because you don't want to get in trouble for riding them if you can't have them. And they, they, they said they will end up taking them and ticketing, ticketing people, but I don't get what they're going to put on that ticket. Uh, riding unsafe or riding without a helmet, I really don't know. It's just another way of telling people what to do. But if enough, enough people come together, we might can end it. But always be safe, wear helmets and knee pads if you're just beginning. Okay, I got that out the way. Let's begin. Okay, sorry for the shakiness. I'm recording from my phone. But, okay. Now, I know a lot of people finna get these for Christmas. And I know a lot of people probably already got them for their kids for Christmas. Or their boyfriends or whoever you with. Or whatever you finna get them for. But, my advice is, please, people, please purchase a warranty. For exchange or your money back. Because these things are not lasting over four or five months. I have not seen one that lasts over four or five months. 
like I could be wrong, but most people I see they 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 breaks and they start messing up in a day, two days, or a, a week or two weeks. Stuff started happening, and another thing I want to clear up. Sorry from jumping to uh, you know off subject, but. I don't know if you guys were watching the news, I think a week ago, where this lady said her hoverboard caught a fire in the house, which is is really kind of weird because I don't understand how that can happen if it's not being charged, overcharged overnight. Um, The way that thing looked at burnt up is like they overcharged it. Now... I have never heard of somebody's hoverboard catching a fire just from being laying around. I never heard of it unless it's been exposed to fire or unless it's been exposed to something that's getting real, real hot that, you know, that heat up the battery and it caused a fire. But the way she explained it and said it was kind of weird to me. Uh, it just caught a fire. Um, I don't know if you guys believe that, but I really don't. Only way these things can catch a fire if you overcharge them. If you keep it on a charge overnight, it, it's possibility that it could catch a fire. In other words, the battery gets hot because there's no switch in the charger that automatically cut it off. If you if it's fully charged, it's still sending signal to the battery. Keep charging, and the battery's like, "What are you doing? I'm charged. Take me off." But there's no automatic shut off switch. You know, some things have that, like like scooters have these little things that the charger, when the battery is full, it sends a signal to the charger or something inside the scooter sends a signal to the charger. It cuts it, cut itself off. Uh, these don't. So until they make them, don't overcharge them. Don't leave them on charge for more than two to three hours. And until your light turns green, then take it off. Because you could burn out your battery and you could mess it up. And then you're going to replace the battery, which the battery costs fifty nine ninety nine to 60 bucks, And you might can damage other stuff. Okay, I got that out the way. Now, let's get to the important part. If you have vibration inside your wheel, in other words, you get off and your scooter's go, ah, like that. Once you step off, then you could have a sticky pad or your, the, 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 the way that the pad, the rubber piece going between the sensor to trigger the sensor could be sticking. It could it could say, oh, there's pressure still on the pads, so let's keep going. But it's not hard enough to push it all the way down. So in other words, your pad not coming back up. It's just sticking. And when I when I open mine, I'm gonna demonstrate it for you guys, but I can't do it right now because I don't have the tools. And another thing. If you have a blue light, well, any kind of light in the front of your scooter, and it's constantly on, no matter what you do, I mean, no matter what you do, if you said it won't help, I'm going to demonstrate this right now because I have the scooter. I'm going to show you. This is my demonstration scooter. If this is happening to your scooter, one side is on, and you push it down, nothing happens. But you push this one down, and it goes, you can hear it trying to go. That means your sensor is bad. And what, what sensor is it, it is, is this one. Right here. Not to buy it now. But, where is it at? It's these two little things. This is what you have to replace. And they're not they're not high on eBay. You get them for twenty four dollars, like right here. See twenty four dollars, and that's what you gotta search. And my advice is search and I mean replace both of these. If one goes out, then this one gonna go out in no time. Just buy the whole thing. See, cause I heard that people these things go out too. Those, the control board. I mean, out of focus. Bam. Those go out too eventually. That's how your scooter's supposed to look inside. But it's not. Trust me. 
It's not gonna look like that. And then another thing I have to talk to you guys about is this. What causes these things to mess up a lot is if you write it, they're not, these are not made to ride long distance. To be honest, I don't think they're made to ride for more than two hours, two to three hours, because there's no way, okay, when a battery gets hot, there's wires just like by the battery, like right here, that can get warm also. And when I took mine off, the battery wire, the red, the red wire was like melting, which indicated to me and alerted me that the battery was melting that wire because when I opened it, the, the battery was hot. When I mean it was hot, it was hot. And then right here on the top of the battery start peeling. Let me see. Let me lock in. Yeah, the top of the battery was melting. It was peeling off. That indicates that there's nothing to ventilate inside here to keep heat from staying inside. You know, like keeping heat from staying inside to to exit out the unit as it gets hot. I mean, they got a little bit of holes, like, you know, stuff in a corner. You know, a little that air can can come out, but not enough to keep it cool inside. So, that's another problem. And, the Sally say these things is poorly made. And, a lot of people was getting faulties and... Some that faulty ones that, that that's not lasting for a long time because of the poor build on these things and it, it's ridiculous. Uh, it's really ridiculous. I mean, they're easy to they're easy to fix and easy to mess up. And my advice, if you're gonna change a sensor, a gyro, or any little thing see they got different names for all these things see that's crazy uh change the whole get the whole package get all of this and let me tell you I recommend getting all of it don't just get the sensor see I call them sensors because on other pages they're called sensors so Everybody got different names for them. But I recommend replacing the whole everything. Not just these two. Replace this two. Or just get it for a backup. Because um, you'd be kind of put down if you just buy one and the other one goes out the next day. You be kind of bummed. Like you just spend twenty nine dollars for one, and then you spend another twenty nine dollars for the second one. It's not cool. But I'm gonna show you guys something. Hold on. I'm trying to see how to get up out of here. Okay. I'm gonna show you something. You need to sit your ass down somewhere. Oh, how you go back? Okay. There we go. This is a MacBook. I'm used to Windows computers. Okay. Let me show you. See, they got different ones. See? Two piece controller board. And they got this one. See, different prices. But they're all from the same people. See, China, China. I'm not seeing one from Hong Kong. And what the hell is this? Oh, this is for children. Damn, I never seen this one. It's crazy. Don't buy that because you ours is not like that. Let's keep going down. See, 47, 49. I think I guess they put Oh, this is a US USA seller. Uh 39. See what I'm talking about? These things cost 
over 400 some dollars from China and then you get them and then the next the day the next day they break and it's hard to re it costs more to send it back you know you might as well just fix it yourself unless the board breaks in half then I'll send it back say 46 14 people watching this one that's crazy I should just buy it now uh, from China. See, see what I'm talking about. See, you gonna spend fifty bucks on just these? You might as well buy the whole, the whole kit. See, you got different prices, so you got di different things to work at, to work with. I mean, excuse me, to work with. And see, they got different ones. So, brother, that's what we should do You got different ones. See, see, this, see, this is the whole pack for 50 bucks. But as I said before, they all come from the same place, see, China. I think this is, no, same one. See what I mean? $149.88 for just these. Because they're from a U.S. seller. See, $41, see, same thing. This from China material and U.S. seller material. See, you guys get the point. And let me see. See, there they go. See, they got different colors, blue, green. And they got this one, too. Yep, see? Okay, you guys get it. But that's all you got to do is search for eBay. Search on eBay, and these are the cheapest places I can find it. Other people want 200 bucks. Some people want 79. Some people want 80. Which they all the same material. I mean, they all do the same thing. I mean, if they all, if one go out, they all gonna go out. That's the way I feel. But, and then I'm gonna throw this in there too. Different companies are selling them. And if you want better quality and a better board, you can go ahead and buy the ones that's more expensive, like twelve hundred bucks. I wouldn't do it. That's my opinion. But you guys can do it if you got it like that. See me? Uh uh. I can't do it because I don't ride it every day. I got other stuff to do. But you guys, let's see, look, twenty nine, twenty three, ninety nine. Let's see what this one looks like. See, same one. It, oh, okay, 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 okay. The difference from this one. Oh, okay. That's the LED light. This is the front light. The indicator light. See, different names. See, told you. You know, I wouldn't even mess with this one, to be honest with you. This looks kind of weird like mm -mm. even though it comes with the charger the charger and the, the button the touch button switch I wouldn't mess with that one see that looks kind of weird to me it looks like it'll break see 23 no nah. but you know you get what you pay for I will mess with these the 59 or you know however your budget is same 49. This is from Hong Kong. They, they might take a couple of days to get here. Oh, okay. But anyway, as I'm saying, now, and then I have another, another thing to tell you guys, too. I looked at some people's YouTube pages, and it's a lot of people that's fixed, that's helping people with fixing them. I'm going to throw this out there. I would not, quote, I would not charge people to fix them. As in, not like fix them, like sending them to me. I'm not doing that yet, but I eventually will. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet under my other schedule. But if you need help, I would not charge anybody just to help you and explain to you what you got to do to fix yours. I will help you to my best ability. And no, I'm not getting paid 
to help you guys. No, I'm not getting paid to make these videos. I just feel that it's messed up that these people are selling these things. That are selling these things. Excuse me for the background. Where are they in there yelling at? That they selling these things for more than three hundred some dollars, and they're breaking in two days, or they're not lasting that long. I feel bad for people. And as I said before, if anybody else know about these things, please help others. Because you never know, you might need help one day too. And I know a lot about them. And I'm going to share that with you guys. And maybe you can share with other people. And share my videos. I don't care what you do. Just make sure you help other people. If you know something. And if I help you out. Help others. And you know, you guys know how to get in contact with me. Through email. And through Google+. Plus, well, G+. Plus, and through uh, Snapchat. I always put my email in a link down but my snapchat I don't know about heart but send me your snapchat and eat in an email or when you send me an email send me a video or a picture of your problem so I can I can see it because if I see it then I can tell you what's wrong with it and I will try to get back to you fast as I could you know sometimes emails don't don't sync up Fat. I mean, it don't come to my phone fast. So now I'm wearing a watch, the Galaxy Gear watch. So now I get them right here. Matter of fact, I got two emails as it is now, and I will respond back to you guys and help you the best way I can. But as I stated before, if you have a smart balance board and you have one and the light is like this, constantly on, or if both of them is constantly on like this, then you just go on and replace this. Let me zoom in. Go on and replace that. The control board. The controller board. That's why you gotta type in on uh, eBay. Go on and replace that, and I guarantee you it will work. Cause this is the only thing that's powering these boards, other than the motor. This is the only, these those are the only things that's powering these boards. What else is powering these boards other than the battery? But if your battery light look on, you're good to go. So, as I said before, but if your board is cutting off for no reason, check the wires. That's inside the board. As in these wires right here. I'm going to show you, see. Good thing I remembered that. I'm going to show you what wires to check. Wrong. I know I'm making a video. You can sit down right here. Check these wires. I'm going to show you right here. Hold on. See, it's hard to zoom in because this damn computer. Okay, look. There we go. Check these wires. These wires can be loose. These little green ones. Check these wires. And you see how this wire is right here? See how these wires right here? They're glued. I don't know if you can see that, but they're glued. Oh, damn, that's what I was telling you. I'm sorry, I can't zoom in this phone. But anyway, check these wires right here. This can cause the unexpected shut off. Just check those wires. And, and check this wire down here too. Make sure these wires are all in there properly. All these wires, then you should be good to go. And maybe you got a bad battery. You see that glue right there? I know you guys see that. That's glue. Now you tell me if something ain't wrong right here. So just check these wires and you know, make sure that everything is working the way it's supposed to be. Huh? Yeah, I know I'm making a video for people trying to help them. Yeah. Yeah, see, it's my kid. Say hi. Oh, now you camera shy? Okay. Anyway. But. Yeah, I know. It's a scooter. But anyway. 
make sure you check those wires. And if anybody need help, contact me. I will get back to you. Thanks a lot and happy holidays. So long for now. Bye-bye.